In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very simple way of how to create a tall cabinet in Revit. So you're going to learn how you can make all this geometry, how you can parameterize it and make it work with any kind of dimensions. And you're also going to learn how to assign different uh, materials and also to understand how to work and create those parameters where you are going to control if you're going to have shelves or not. The first thing I'm going to do in Revit will be to pick a proper family template. And for this one, I will be using this metric casework. Just click open. And as you can see, we have some things predefined here. We have width, depth, and if you go to front or right, you will see that we also have the height parameter defined as well. But when, he, when we look at our plan view, the first thing I'm going to do will be that I would like to also place for our cabinet actually to make a space later on to create the panel here. And then I also would like to place some kind of the framing, which will look like this. And for something like that, you need to create a few more reference planes. So the first one will be for the panel. So let's go to create. You will see here reference plane. RP is a shortcut. And let's make one. So this is going to be, let's say, I will call this as a front back. And then I will go to DI shortcut. I'm going to place dimension and then select this dimension and go here, create parameter. And I'm going to name this parameter as panel thickness. Let's hit OK. And I can anytime go here to the family types and then I can just make this to be, for example, 19 millimeters. And the same way, I'm going to create a few more reference planes like this. Annotate, align dimensions and then just place them this way from the outer reference planes to those inner one. Select this and make this as, let's say, frame thickness. Let's make frame thickness to be, for example, 19 and then select those two dimensions and assign them parameter, which is called frame thickness. And what I would like to do as well is to create the base and the top. And I'm going to make one reference plane here. So I'm going to create parameter and here I can just assign, for example, frame thickness while I'm going to make one more reference plane and place dimension and this one I'm gonna make and I'm gonna name this as a base height for example and I will name this reference plane just select it and add name here for example base so base height is going to be 60 so I will, I will then just make it like this. So first of all, I will go to the reference plane here and then I'm going to go to create extrusion and I will take pick lines. So you need to pick over the reference plane, then to lock it and then just continue picking and locking. And then I'm going to pick it and lock it here, then take split tool, trim TR. So they need to be closed loops. Confirm this. Let's go to front and let's extend this to the top. And then just lock this. So let's go to 3D. You see how this look like. And what I'm going to do next will be to go here, for example, to, to the reference plane. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to create one more extrusion. And I will just type to those inner reference planes and I'm going to lock it. So you're picking reference planes and then you need to have closed loops. And I will just set the base here, set the reference planes to the, to the base. Let's confirm this or let's let me show you something. So we have the height of 250 millimeters, but if you click on this a square here, rectangle, associate family parameters, I can just go and I can assign this to be frame thickness, for example. 
and then I can also go to the to our plan view and I'm gonna create one more and this one I'm gonna start creating from the top for example and I just need to repeat the process so click on those inner reference planes pick them and then lock our geometry to them and then just trim this so let's go to front let's see how this looks like and right now I will just do the opposite thing so I'm not gonna go here and associate parameter uh, instead, I will just drag this shape arrow and I'm going to lock it to this reference plane here. And you see that this has the frame thickness of 19. And for example, if I now open this and if I make this to be 35, like this frame thickness, you see that everywhere is going to be increased. I will make it 19 and I will just, I will just reorder this. So let's make the height and then let's place the width to go up and then the depth so this is okay i can just play put the frame frame height a uh, base height actually uh at the bottom so in general this seems fine and when i look at this 3d view i can see that one thing is missing so we need to have something something below so we need to have some board here and i'm gonna make it as well so first of all i'm gonna make reference plane rp and I'm gonna place it here. Then DI, and let's make this as parameter, which is called, let's say, toy depth. And I'm gonna name this one as toy depth, this reference plane. Let's go to front view. And here, from a front view, I'm gonna go to create. I will set the reference plane on a toy depth, and then I'm just gonna pick on those reference planes and the same process. So pick and lock and trim at the end. So you see how it looks like and it's very easy to control it because I can just assign parameter here and that parameter is going to be frame thickness. So this is all fine and I can just select those boards I made. And what I'm going to do will be to go here and I will not assign parameter. I can just go here and I'm going to associate parameter. And I'm going to name this one as material frame. And I will select, actually I will select all of them and I will assign material frame as a parameter to all the geometry we have. Then I will just go here. I'm gonna test it, so I'm gonna see how this works. So let's make the height to 1.8 meters. Let's make the width to, let's say, 600, 450. So you see, everything is fine. I will again reorder this a little bit. And I will make this to be, let's say, 60 as well. So let's make this 120, for example. Let's make the frame thickness 45 so you see everything works well everything work, works perfect so this is okay from my point of view i'm gonna just make it like this 900 600 600 so i can now save the file and then i'm just gonna save it and what I would like to show you next is how we can also create and place some shelves inside. So for that, I'm going to go to front. And first of all, I'm going to do will be to set to create one reference plane like this. And let's make this as number 1.1, for example. Take DI and then take it from here to here and then, for example, to the top. And then I can just make it here equal actually or at the middle. And then let's go to reference plane and let's go to create extrusion. And let's repeat the process. Actually, right now I will just need to set this up at reference plane 1.1. So the process is totally the same as it was when I was creating the other elements. And simply just go here, assign the frame thickness, 
and you can immediately assign here material frame. Let's hit OK and we got this. But what I would like to do as well is that I would like to create a visibility parameter for this. So uh, it means that uh, maybe I don't want to have it visible in my, in my model once I load it into the project or I just would like to have it visible. In that case, you can control it if you just go here to the visible and then click here, make parameter. So I will just make it as, for example, one shelf. And I'm going to make this as instance parameter. So let's hit OK. And then I will go here to our front view and I'm going to create two more, for example, reference planes. And this one is going to be called, for example, 2.1. And this one will be 2.2. Then I'm going to take the measurements so from here to here, then to 2.2. And then let's say to the end, or I can just make it to the bottom here. So it doesn't matter. Let's hit equal. Let's go to reference plane and then extrusion set reference plane to 2.1 and do the what I have done before. So for this one what I have to do is also to assign a visibility parameter, so to create one more, and it's going to be called as two shelves instance as well. I already assigned, you see, parameter for the thickness and also assigned parameter uh, for the material. And let's go to reference plane, to actually to plan view again, create extrusion. So let's repeat, let's do the same. So this is kind of boring, but this is very simple process. So reference plane 2.2 and then just pick and lock. Trim. And at the end, just assign parameters for the thickness as well as for the visibilities to shelves and then also for material. So let's go to view, let's hit OK. And I will just save my family. Let's go to file and let's create new project. Take this metric multidiscipline template from Autodesk. In 3D view here, I will just turn off some annotation categories, levels and scope boxes. And then I will load this family into my, into my project file. So let's go to 3D, zoom in. And right now you can see I can, for example, turn off and I can avoid having having shelves or I can just have one shelf on or I can just have two shelves on. And of course, I can just go and I can make the height to be 1.8 meters, the width 450, 400 frame thickness, or I can make this to be 25 and a tessera, so it means that everything is going to follow and everything is going to work perfectly. If you are finding this tutorial helpful and want to support the channel, you can join my Patreon. It's a great way to help me keep creating free content and you will get some cool perks like project files, extended videos, as well as early access to videos. The link is in a video description. And if you want to take your learning even further, I've created a free community on school where you can connect with other Revit learners and access my free Revit training. Plus, if you're ready for the next level, my full premium courses are also inside the same group. It's the best place to learn and grow together. You will find the link down below and see you inside. This was the very simple way of how to create the tall cabinet in Revit. And just feel free to write in the comments below what you think about this system. Is this something which is going to work for you? Or you maybe have some questions about this. So please take the comments below and express yourself or ask if anything is unclear. And now when we know how to make this tall cabinet, I would like to show you the best way of how to create the fronts, the panels for the cabinets and how to place them actually to nest them into this family. So to learn that, just watch this tutorial.